hello, and welcome to this week's Heads Up video update. It's been a pleasure to welcome our students back after the half-term break and to hear their holiday news. This relatively short half-term, just over six weeks, promises to be fun-filled and busy. There are many great events to look forward to. For example, our sports presentation evening, our arts awards, sports day, and the upcoming music tour to Malvern and Worcester. We're very much looking forward to welcoming parents into school to celebrate alongside us. And my letter this week has details of the dates and times. We continue to send our very best wishes to year 11 and year 13 students for their examinations. We are looking on with pride and commend them for their hard work, determination and resilience. Among the stories featured in this week's Wickham High TV news, with the general election very much in the headlines, our students reveal what they would do if they were elected Prime Minister. The presenters this week are Amaya and Imogen, who alongside all our other Year 12s have been on their Work Experience Week. As well as producing, script writing, editing and presenting for Wickham High TV, we've had students working at Pinewood Studios, Hello Magazine, working in aerospace, law firms, architects, and many, many more. Our thanks to all the companies who have opened their doors to our students, who I know will have been professional and will have greatly appreciated the invaluable experience. We are all very proud of them. They are such great ambassadors for Wickham High School. You will also see on Wickham High TV News this week, how our Year 7s have been out and about on a geography field trip around High Wycombe and how our Under 14s competed in the County Touch to Twickenham Touch Rugby Tournament and took the victory. Looking out of my window, it does look like summer is finally around the corner, so let's hope the sun shines this weekend. Wherever you are and whatever your plans, I hope you have an enjoyable time. And I'll leave you with a sneak peek behind the scenes of rehearsals for the upcoming student tour to Malvern and Worcester. Appropriately enough, the piece you're about to hear is Nimrod by Elgar, a tune you may well have heard during this week's coverage of the D-Day 80th anniversary. Goodbye for now.